Hello, Every Nation families. I trust that you have been enjoying these daily videos as much as I am. Today, we'll look at Psalms 27, written by David in the midst of his troubles. He was often surrounded by his enemies, under attack and under pressure. And I think that we can learn from him how he responded to his crisis and how we can respond to our current situation. So Psalms 27 verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army beseech me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. You see, in the midst of what we are going through today, we need to hold on to the Lord. And we must say that the Lord is my light in the midst of darkness. The Lord is my salvation in the midst of this health crisis. The Lord is my stronghold in the midst of relational and financial distress. We need to hold on to the Lord. And let's take a look at how David held on to the Lord in verse 4. And he wrote, One thing I ask from the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe in His dwelling, and He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent, and this is amazing. And he says, and set me high upon the rock. To set us high upon the rock means to bring us to a higher level of perspective. It's to bring us to a higher level of understanding. When you hike up a hill, uh, the view on top is very different from the view below. From above, you can see the whole city. You can see the big picture. Things begin to make sense. Things begin to be clear. So in the same way as we wait upon the Lord, as we dwell in His presence, as we meditate on God's Word, I pray that it will bring us, spiritually speaking, to a deeper level of understanding, to a the higher level of perspective, to see and to understand what's happening around us and what we need to do. I love how David ends his Psalms in the last two verses, in verse 13 and 14. And he wrote, I remain confident of this, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. You know, in this season, we may find ourselves asking this question, how long will this last? Or when can my life be back, be back to normal again? Or why is this happening in the midst of fear, in the midst of confusion? We can truly say, just like what David said, we can say, that I will remain confident of this, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in this land, that as we wait for the Lord, we can be strong and we can take heart as we wait for the Lord. You know, before we pray, I want to encourage you as part of our Love, Power and Sound Mind initiative, pray for someone, reach out and encourage someone, do an act of kindness to someone who is more in need than you, do that today. Uh, let's pray. God, we thank you that you are our light and our salvation. God, we thank you that you are our stronghold in the midst of all that is happening today. God, we thank you that uh, we don't know, if, even though we don't know how long this may be, or how bad it's going to be, but we can truly say this, that we can say that we will remain confident of this, that we shall see the goodness of the Lord in this land that as we wait for you, that we can be strong and we can take heart as we wait for you. God, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you.